Hey, good people, it's the new moon and time to set an intention. My name is Rick Astor. I'll be looking at the new moon of May 30th, 2022. These cards may help you choose a focal point or theme for the intention you set for yourself. For a new idea to take effect at the new moon and come into the physical reality by the time of the full moon two weeks later. The theme for this reading comes from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle and it is clinging, so there may be some idea that you need to hold on tight to, or there may be an idea that you've been holding on too tightly to that you may want to loosen up on so that you can connect to other energies in your life. Now I'll draw from the Light Seer's Tarot the usual marketplace spread. The first card goes in the center, and this is the situation. The situation is the Four of Swords. Rest and recovery after something difficult. The obstacle is the Ace of Cups. Possibly an emotional message. The marketplace is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. The world is telling you to walk away from something in thoughts. Four of Cups. Disappointment. Feeling is Page of Wands in reverse. So perhaps difficulty in getting some momentum going. And in the outcome, three of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you finally decide you can't get on the same page with some people you were trying to work with. I want to start by pointing out that these are all minor arcana, and that means that this is a situation that you have a great deal of influence over. It's really up to you how it goes. And then the two key cards, I believe, are the two fours, the Four of Swords recovering from some kind of blow in, is the situation. And then the Four of Cups in the feelings. You were looking for something that wasn't there. You feel like you don't know what to do there. The obstacle then is the Ace of Cups needing to open up to the possibilities, I feel. The Thoughts position with the Page of Wands in reverse tells me that you are thinking of reasons why you're not up to this challenge. And in connection with that, notice that these cards are upright, the, the first cards are upright, and then the last cards are in reverse. So maybe that says this is the kind of thing that's easy to get started on, but then you hit resistance as you get closer to the end. Well, let's get some clarifying cards. I want to look at the Four of Cups first. And the card flipping over is the Hierophant in reverse. This could mean departing from the ways you've always thought things ought to be done, but you're reluctant to make that leap. You might be asking, why is this the time to go and do something new? Well, so then look, let me look at the thoughts position. Is this self-doubt? What is this about? I have several cards wanting to come loose, but let me take this one. The Five of Cups. So that's simple enough, self-doubt being caused by disappointment or things not going the way you wanted them to or not the way you expected. Probably you tried to do something, it didn't work out, came up short. You're asking, what did I do wrong? Now let me look at the marketplace position. Why is the world saying you have to walk away? The card flipping over is the Ten of Wands. Well, something is over, it's run out of steam. The burdens are too heavy, the returns on your effort are too small. Then the card that's really puzzling is the outcome. Why the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Is this failing to connect? The Seven of Cups 
in reverse. This is simple enough, although it's not going to feel simple. You have lots of choices, but you don't like any of them. None of them seem to fit. It's not really the right thing. You can tell there's something off. And in this case, it is not that you are looking at things the wrong way or have too many choices to consider. It really is that none of them fit. You need to get what you deserve, get the better outcome that you know is there. And what that implies for the story as a whole is that this is not the time to settle on a specific direction and commit to it. It is enough to get unstuck from what you thought you were committed to, walk away from that, realize its limitations, and take on a new view of your life as being more wide open. In other words, you thought you knew where you were going, but things did not go the way you expected. You can see that you need to find a new way of doing things, and you don't quite see what that is yet, but it's time to put yourself in that position of searching for it, of being open to it, of being ready when that new way of doing things arrives. The key to all this is accepting that you were not on the right path, and that you are not getting the thing that you were hoping to get, and then you'll see that there are much bigger possibilities, and you can start to sift through what these other possibilities are. I will get a guidance card now. This will come from the Oracle deck again. The card is Influences. So we had this recently in one of the dream card readings. In this case, I believe this card is inviting you to sift through the people you remember and this time ask, who would I want to be more like if I could imitate specific qualities of specific people? Which qualities do I want to imitate? And then how did those people arrive at those qualities? And you may start to see some specific possibilities for yourself. Well, I hope that these cards could give you some ideas of what you want to change in the way you see yourself change in the way you think about yourself in your life, starting at this new moon and going into the full moon. Hopefully you can think of one thing that you want to change. It might seem like something that you couldn't change because it's too big or too complicated, but if you set that as your focus with the moon as your guide, you may just arrive at it at the upcoming full moon. Good luck setting that intention, making it real. Happy new moon.